Hi there, I'm going to show you how to start a corporation in Colorado. The first thing that we recommend you do is perform a business search. This will allow you to search the Secretary of State name database and see if your desired business name is available for use in this state. This is really important because if you file with the Secretary of State using a business name that's unavailable, then your application will be rejected. So click on this link here to find out how to do that. You may also, if you wish, reserve your business name for a period of 120 days by filing the name reservation application. Click on this link here to find out more information about that. So the actual filing process will begin with you selecting either the domestic or foreign corporation links here. And these links will take you to our more in-depth tutorials where we will walk you step by step through the information that needs to be provided. But essentially what you'll do is provide your business information on your computer or from your computer rather and then um, once everything's been submitted you will have to pay a filing fee and you can use your credit card to pay for this fee. The filing fees are $50 for domestic entities and $100 for foreign entities and um, you can expect the process to take between 5 to 15 business days to process. So that's it for filing. A couple things to mention though that in the tips section here we have the EIN or employer identification number this number is issued by the IRS to all entities that plan on hiring employees or um, registering for bank accounts or performing any financial transaction as a business. This will be required for that. So you can apply for this for free, both online and through the mail. And we have described both of those application procedures in this link here. The corporate bylaw document, um, unlike most states, is actually required in Colorado. So this document will allow you to um, define a number of provisions that were left undocumented during the initial registration procedure. Certain things like general meeting times and the rules and regulations that must be followed can be defined with this document. So click on this link here to download our free agreement template in both Microsoft Word and PDF formats. And lastly, each corporation will be required to submit a renewal application to the Secretary of State in order to remain in good standing. Um, if you fail to file this renewal, then your um, business will be subject to additional fees and your entity will be viewed as delinquent. So it's really important to um, file a renewal in order to remain in good standing. So that's it for now. I hope this tutorial helped. Good luck and take care.